Atopic dermatitis affects the daily lives of adults and children around the world. Healthcare company Sanofi is working to raise awareness of the seriousness of this disease and improve support for patients. Selena Downs went to Portugal to hear one patient's story. We would discover that I had atopic dermatitis followed by asthma when I was seven years old and it has been following my life since then. Joana Camillo suffers from moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, a chronic inflammatory skin disease that manifests itself in rashes all over her body. When people stare at us, they see the lesions more than the, the person. And when we see an, an healthy skin, we tend to think, is this, as we don't know, is this contagious, is this infectious? So it's, there's a lot of stigma associated with the disease. It's a constant battle. Joanna's skin becomes dry, itchy and inflamed. Scratching leads to cracks and infection, leaving scars both physical and emotional. Our skin is damaged because of the lesions, because of the inflammation, even, even because of the infection. We also feel the itchiness during the night. We suffer a lot from sleep deprivation. It's physically, psychological and emotionally quite heavy. The exact cause of moderate to severe atopic dermatitis is unclear but it often runs in families. It's a systemic disease, which means it affects the whole body. And it's chronic, afflicting sufferers their entire lives. It often develops alongside other conditions such as asthma. And currently, there is no cure. Dr. Urs Kirkman is medical head of immunology at Sanofi Genzyme, a world-leading biotechnology company investing in groundbreaking new treatments. He says patient needs are driving innovation. I think there is always room for research improvement and I think we are continuously also as Sanofi Genzyme looking in that. We are looking at new targets, so thinking of treatments that can target two things at the same time by specific antibodies, for example. These are options we are exploring and it's something, of course, that excites us. But Joanna worries about her eight-year-old son, who is showing signs of the disease. He has lesions. The friends are starting to, to ask what is that. What is your main fear for him? That he suffers from this disease, that he, he, feels, the, he feels unhealthy, that this will prevent and this will shape his personality. And I don't want him to feel, to feel, to feel what I'm, I'm feeling, um, because it's, um, it's, uh, it's distressing a lot. And, and it's impactful in a lot of ways. We try to manage and try the, the disease not to take over our life, but uh, depending on the severity, it takes over a lot of parts of our life and I don't want him to, to pass through this. To support other families living with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, Joanna has set up an organization called Adamap to raise awareness of the disease. We need to have a higher awareness on what is the disease, what is the impact of the disease at different levels, at policy level. It needs a proper diagnosis, a proper treatment, a proper follow-up. We need to have a more integrated and holistic approach to the disease. Dr. Kirkman agrees. We need to really invest more what the best care approach is, uh, absolutely. I think we, we are at the beginning really of a new era. Um, we have understood now the pathways better. There are different targets out there. We are able to block some of them, which gives a huge help. And with this targeted approach, we have a much better option to control the disease over a, a longer time for the patient and really help him like that to live the normal life he would love to, which he cannot do as of now. We are in a, in a positive moment and hopefully the upcoming years will have advances at different levels, namely at the research level that can provide a better future for the peoples, especially for the young generation.